freeze. Thank you so much, Haley. Local parents are feeling the squeeze with the cost of child care on the rise. Recently, the California Department of Social Services conducted a survey to determine a suggested child care service rate. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price is live in studio with more details on how some local providers are staying afloat despite the pressures of inflation. Miyoshi. The survey suggested how much big both large centers and private owned family care providers should be paid per child. The rate per child was approximately two times more than what the Riverside County pays providers. I spoke with a local family child care provider who remains hopeful about the possibility of receiving an increase in what she believes to be essential aid. There hasn't been an increase in in rates and fees and parents can't afford to pay you know what the true cost of child care is. Rosa Bobadilla runs Bobadilla Family Child Care in Indio. This chart provided by the California Department of Social Services suggests that a family child care provider should be paid close to $27,000 per year per child up to two years old. The state, the county, the Everybody has millions and millions of dollars coming in, but when it trickles down, the child care, family child care doesn't see much of it. According to the CDSS, Riverside County is providing just over $11,000 per year per child up to two years old. And the parent is not really technically allowed to pay more because they can't afford to pay more. So we have not increased our rates. Bobadilla and her family wants to keep child care affordable. We live in Indio. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, gardeners, nurses, um, you know, waitresses, like, you know, seasonal jobs, you know, that kind of thing. Rosa Bobadilla works with other local family providers to come up with extra money. We're slowly trying to figure out ways to fund ourselves, meaning through private parties. We're trying to launch a campaign within our own network and um, a campaign, you know, to promote you know, early childhood education, quality care, quality pay, and hopefully we'll get some interest from private parties. The Bobadilla family is staying positive about the future of her family business. The next CDSS meeting will take place August 12th. Live in studio, Miyoshi Price, News Channel 3. Thank you, Miyoshi.